Hi guys. In this video, we are going to cover the basics of the straight line graph or function and its various properties and actually how to plot a simple straight line graph on a Cartesian plane. So let's start with the base formula. We all know that the straight line always follows the form of y is equal to mx plus c. Remember, y and x represent our x and y axes on our Cartesian plane. So those parameters are standard for any function that you'll come across. The m parameter is known as the gradients. Remember, another word for gradients is the slope or the steepness of the graph. And this parameter is probably the most important on our straight line graph because it directly impacts the direction and the steepness, as I just said. Now, remember, the gradient can be represented in many ways. And the most common way to actually represent it is to say that the gradient is equal to the rise over run. And another way of representing this is to actually say that the gradient is the change in y. Remember delta, which is this triangle symbol, is the change, the change in the y and over, over the change in the x. And this is the formula that you're probably more familiar with, is to say that y2 minus y1 over x2, x1 minus x1. And this basically means that if we have any two points on our straight line graph, we can use this formula to actually calculate the value of the gradients. Now, let's look at our c value. Our c value is known as our y-intercept. And this is a very, very important feature, especially when we're going to get to plotting the straight line graphs on the Cartesian plane. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at that. When we are plotting our straight line graphs, there's usually two methods that we are going to use. And that is going to be the dual intercept and the gradient method. Now, I've used the example of y is equal to 2x minus 2. Now, let's get into the habit of using functional notation. So, I'm going to rewrite this as f of x is equal to 2x minus 2. Now, I've gone ahead and I've already plotted it on our Cartesian plane. And I'm going to be using this as our example when using the dual intercept or gradient method. Now, please note that you only need two random points on the graph to actually plot it. Once you plot those two random points, you can take your ruler and you can run a line straight through and that would be completing the plotting of the straight line graph. So let's go ahead and actually do the dual intercept method, which is probably my favorite method to plotting a straight line graph. It's very easy. It's very quick. It's very practical. And the dual intercept method requires you to find out two specific points, and those points are going to be your y and x intercepts. Remember I said you can find any random points, but the y and x are your most important. To find our y-intercept on a straight line graph, well, that's very simple. The y-intercept always follows the form of 0 and our c-value, which would be negative 2. So I'm going to put that coordinate aside. Now I would like to solve for the x-intercept. And for the x-intercept, I'm going to follow basically the same formula where for our y-intercept, we said x is equal to 0, and that's how we ended up with negative 2. Now we're going to set y to 0 and solve for x to find our x-coordinates. So I'm going to say that 0 is equal to to 2x minus 2. I've taken this formula and I've plugged in 0 for y. Now we are going to apply simple algebra where I take that negative 2 over to a positive 2 and I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to solve for x. Therefore x is equal to 1. Therefore my coordinate should be 1 and 0. 1 
and 0. Now that I've got one point, which is 0 and negative 2, which will be at this point, and 1 and 0, which would be at that point, I could take my ruler and run it through to plot the straight line graph. The next method is known as the gradient method. And this is similar to the dual intercept method, but slightly different. For our gradient method, we are going to take the same y-intercept using the same method to find it that we did before. And we're going to go ahead and find that point. But for the gradient method, we are going to use the actual gradient of the graph. And the gradient of this graph is 2. Now, what you, would, what you want to do is try and convert this to a fraction form. So we're simply going to say that this is the same as saying 2 over 1. And remember I said before that gradient is the same as saying rise over run. So let's go ahead and analyze this. We rise 2 and we run 1. Rise represents our vertical change. Run represents our horizontal change. Both of these numbers are positive. So this will be up 2 and to the right 1. So let's go to our points that we previously had, which was our y-intercept. And let's move up 2 units and across 1 unit. And we're back at our x-intercept. Please note that it will not always be the x-intercept. We can take any random point on this graph and apply this method to it and we will be able to find concurrent points. So that would be our second point. We would then take our ruler and run it through the entire graph to plot it. That is using the dual intercept and the gradient, and the gradient method to plot our straight line graphs on a Cartesian plane. Thank you so much for watching. In our next video, I would like to cover more aspects of the straight line graph, so please stay tuned for that.